way out, we found out that you needed a permit. And uh, so we, we heard that if you took the shuttle, you could get a wristband. And it'll just drive you there, drive you back. And we ran to catch the last one. <laughs> <laughs> it took us four hours. <laughs> it was a long time. <laughs> but we went slow though. But it was perfect weather for it, like not too hot. And there's a little bit of snow on the side, but I put it under my hat to stay from getting too hot. And uh, you know, we used the snow to chill our uh, guacamole for chips and guacamole for the summit. <laughs> oh, that was, that was the best part of the hike. The view was awesome. The mountains, the snow was awesome. <laughs> the thighs and the knees and the toes. Yeah, they went through a lot. <laughs> well, the shuttle was really friendly. Uh, the hike, well, I'm still waiting for her to come back down, so I think she's a little worn out. It's uphill the entire way. It was worth it. And in the past, the, the parking was like kind of sketchy and often full. And you weren't sure if you were going to get a spot, and uh, it was way easier to just catch the shuttle. We recommend using the shuttle to get to Dog Mountain. It was great. <laughs>